Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I was wondering about what to film and as I was thinking I was just kind of had some YouTube on in the background and a what's in my bag video came up and I was like oh my days I used to absolutely love watching these. It was a 40 minute long video and I watched the entire thing, not going to lie, it was not a productive hour but there we go we're here now. I just thought you know what Let's, let's rewind, let's take it back old school and today we are going to do a classic What's in my bag? Now I have on purposely not cleared out my bag <laughs> Which may be dangerous um, So we're going to see what in the heck is in this enormous thing Is this the appropriate size for a handbag? No do I have a problem with taking too much stuff everywhere? Yes. Now, at the moment, I am kind of switching between two, depending on <laughs> how much stuff I need. I'm either taking my Berkeley bag with me, or I'm taking my Aspinall tote bag. And all my stuff is in this Aspinall one because I was using it for work. And also, I've realised, I really, really like a bag which is just one big pocket because I can see everything. I can rummage, I can find it. Whereas this bag I love because I love the kind of rough textured leather. I just think it's great. But because it's got a zippy pocket on the outside and then you have the, see I'm already getting confused, then you've got a little inner pocket and then you have the middle pocket and then you have another zippy pocket. I can never find anything in it. So actually Whilst that sounds like it will keep all your bits nice and separate and organised, I actually just find it quite annoying. Which is also why I have been reaching for this one so much more, because I can just chuck everything in and then I can just rummage around and find what I need. There is going to be no order to this, I'm literally just going to grab stuff. So, first things first is my little pencil case. So I am a musician for my job and so I always have to have, hence the... Uh, <laughs> music stand behind me and I always have to have loads of pencils and rubbers and things but that is not all that is in here this is also my as long as I have this my phone and my little card wallet then I have everything I need item because I also have a little Loxtan hand cream in here I also have a little but these lip balm in here I also have a spork because we don't want to be using plastic cutlery no 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 we are past that ladies and gentlemen and I have a good old nail file and then just lots of pens and pencils and things this one is from Fenella Smith and I actually got this from TK Maxx and it's just the perfect size because it holds everything in without me being able to overfill it which is definitely the advice I should take with my enormous handbags next up we have a water bottle self-explanatory I actually really like this one I got it from Aldi because I just I love the color we love a sage green moment and it keeps things super super gold which is so so nice the only thing is that I don't like the fact that it's a screw top lid because I am lazy so I am going to get one of the ocean water bottles I think because they do it in black which means I can take it on stage which is handy Next up we have this little pouch and this just holds all of my charging cables, I also have my earbuds in here and it just keeps everything nice and tidy and organised. This is genuinely one of the best things in my handbag. If you do not have something like this, buy one. Sunglasses because, you know, I mean, who, I mean it's actually getting sunny now so that's nice. And these are my classic Ray-Ban ones. These are the ones I tend to keep in my handbag at all, all times just because they literally go with everything. Ah, oh, coffee deliveries, they're just the best. Okay, where were we? Next up, we have my little card wallet. This is a Versace one, just because I wanted to be bougie. I actually used to be like a big purse person, and I'd have all my loyalty cards and all of the things, but now so many of them are on apps, and honestly, I haven't really carried cash with me since the pandemic. <laughs> so I just have this and I actually, I really, really like it. I like things to be a bit, a bit more minimal. The contents of this bag will, will you know, I'm, I'm trying, okay. Silk hair scrunchie. This one is one of my uh, silken berry ones and it is lovely because it does not leave a kink in your hair, which is great. And then I have my moleskin notebook. This is just where I write down all of my thoughts and ponderings and um, yes and that's why it is very small. <laughs> I have my little Kent hairbrush, it's my little travel hairbrush and I love it because it is a small hairbrush that can actually get through my hair which is impressive. Okay we're getting to 
into the little things in the bottom of the bag now. I have my little travel perfume spray. So you just kind of fill it up with whatever perfume that you are using at the time. Mine is Tom Ford Black Orchid, which I'm actually pretty sure is a men's fragrance. <laughs> but I find a lot of women's fragrances pull very like sickly on me so actually I really like wearing a more unisex fragrance and every time I wear this people tell me I smell amazing and on Friday <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was chatting me up but uh, anywho it's still relevant I spent about oh gosh five hours on trains and taxis and trying to like get between there was a whole like signal failure and it was all a bit of a faff anyway and it was hot and when I arrived at Symphony Hall in Birmingham, it's where my concert was, I went past the guy that was on, the security guy on the door, and he said I smell good. So, if that is not a ringing endorsement, I don't know what is. Hot chocolate sachet from the hotel. Now, I always take these because they're actually really nice to have in your bag. Sometimes I do want a hot chocolate, but I don't want to pay exorbitant amounts of money for one so I actually really like having one of those in my bags because it comes in handy. I have another Burt's Bees lip balm. I just basically have them everywhere and this is the mint one which is one of my favourites. I just absolutely love it because it's really minty so it kind of gives you that fresh feeling which I love and then oh my magic balm. So this is the Uber balm for sensitive skin by Our Tiny Bees. I don't know what they put in this stuff. It is phenomenal. I use this on my cuticles. I use this if I have a spot. It really helps it heal up. I use it on my viola mark, which can get quite sore if I'm doing a lot of playing. And I also use it if I have any like cuts or anything like that. I don't know if you can see, I actually have, I'm doing my, my best Arwen impression at the moment. And I actually have quite a big scratch up my cheek. I actually have no idea how I got it. Probably playing with the dog. But this is really, really helping heal that up. And as well. I have my little work pass from Festival Hall on Saturday. I have a little little pot of Kirby Grips and these are just from Wilco and I bought them because they came in this little pot because we all know these things have a lives of their own. And then I have a little hair clippy clippy because I am somebody where I, I normally have my hair up and out of my face. I just, especially if I'm eating or if I'm playing, I just, I need to get this out of my face. And then the last thing, which actually doesn't have anything in it right now, but it's just, it's this little kind of wallety thing that is attached to the bag. I normally use this to put my powder compact in because it just kind of keeps it a little bit protected and means that it doesn't get bashed around quite so much. And that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this little nosy, I don't, what is this bit? I don't even know what this bit of hair is doing, but I hope you have enjoyed this little nosy into my bag. Like I say, I know these videos are super old school. Nobody really does them anymore, but I just thought it would be fun. And I've kind of enjoyed seeing what on earth I carry around with me every single day. And now I've realized why my bag is so heavy. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.